Hey guys, how are you? I mean, no, really, how are you? I'd love to know if you just drop a comment below. I'd love to know how you are. I'm doing great. I'm just about, as the night before I'm going out on this paddling thing on my river trip, so thanks for asking. <laughs> but anyway, uh, today, um, it's just on the eve of me going away for a river trip. Um, we're going to go like for three full days, and I'll video it as well. But it got me to thinking that there are so many things to do in the Algarve. I mean, look at this. There's tons of stuff. Now, many of those things that you've just seen, you can do on your own. And probably the easiest thing and, the, and what the most common thing that people do is just go to a restaurant, eat a fantastic meal, or go to the beach and just lie on the beach and enjoy themselves. And that's great. And check out my Beach Life video for tips on, on which beaches to choose and, and how the beaches operate and how much the sunbeds cost, all that kind of stuff. But now, if you wanted to go and do any of these crazy cool activities, I'd love it if you just go down into the description. There's a link there from a, co from a company called getyourguide.com and they cover tons of things in the Algarve. And if you buy through them or through that link, I'll get like a little, a little referral. And um, I just love, you know, that's a, just an awesome way to say thanks if you are going to do that anyway. You won't get charged any extra. It's just a basic affiliate link. And as I mentioned before, there's tons of stuff to do in the Algarve. Like there's off-road buggies, off-road jeeps, hikes, bikes, walks, boat cruises, boat tours, island tours, kayaking, supping, surfing, water sports, jet skis, parasailing, pedalos, wine tours, food tours, dolphin tours, pirate ship trips, horse riding, segways, sunset cruise, coasteering, climbing, paragliding, bird watching, and you can hire a speedboat. But the most popular things to do are probably to go and take an old fishing boat, those really small fishing boats, and just clip around through the Olgarve's spectacular caves. But one thing that you can't find on Get Your Guide today is dirty bikes. So let's hop on the dirty bikes and glide up to Alt. But it's dirt, E, bikers. And the E stands for electric bikes. So these are a really cool new breed of bikes. I want to go and visit my mate Russ, who's running it. And we went for a fun thing, so enjoy the ride. So morning, Russ. How's oh, it yeah. going? Huh? Yeah, no, it's going good. I'd love good. to find out what's going on with this Dirty Bikers. How did you get the name? Uh, it just, just came about. Oh. Um, one of those things we were trying to come up with a, an original name. And uh, because these bikes, they're from New Zealand and they're two-wheel drive. They're originally designed for the farms. So that's where the dirt bike came into it and then with the uh, electric side dirty bike has evolved uh -huh. so it's uh, it's actually worked out as a really good branding for us uh, we've got the t-shirts coming up uh, all the logos um, and there's a lot of connotations that can go with it as well so <laughs> we'll see see how that goes uh, we've even had the uh, dirty bikers piri piri which uh, we've had made for us and yeah. that's just a little sideline but just a bit of fun so how long have you been down here in, in Portugal and was it easy to set up a company? Uh, well, we've, uh, we've been living here now for nine years. Um, moved up here into the countryside at the beginning of last year. Um, Company-wise, yeah, it's not been easy, very different from the UK. Yeah. Um, we've gone through a couple of different accountants to make sure everything is in order and everyone's agreed with uh, what they're saying. Um, insurance. Uh, again, quite tricky because people want to know exactly what the bikes are because uh, they're not an e-bike and they're not really a motorbike, so there's something in between. So it doesn't fit into any box. It's kind of like when I was starting stand-up paddleboarding. Nobody yeah. knew what that was. So. Yeah, it's yeah. the same same with the flight boards and all these kind of things. Yeah. Um, but we've uh, got over that hurdle now, and so, yeah, everything's in place, but you just have to make sure everything is in place, especially with a product like this. Mm. So, uh, yeah, it's been, been an experience, but, uh, yeah, we got there. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Philippe. Good morning, Nick. <laughs> You're right, Pat. Oh, that was the, sorry. You just got a vaccination. Should hit you on the other thing. So you ready for a ride, bro? Yeah. These dirty bikes. They look quite fun, don't they? They look fun. <laughs> 
So let me show you more or less where we're at. Okay, so if you're coming in to the Algarve from out of space, which you probably wouldn't be, but if you're coming in from uh, North America or the UK or even South Africa, you'll see that Faro is located fairly in the center. Now we're going to head over to a place called Bolichem, actually a little bit further north of Bolichem, and we're going to start driving through the bushes and we're going up to a little village called Alt, which if you are an astute observer and watcher of my videos, you will have known that I've actually done a video about Alt. And that video was called Backroads of the Algarve. I'll leave a little card up here on the top. Okay. Look at that. I thought you were just going to plan it. So you enjoying yourself? Absolutely. Good man. <laughs> These guys, hunters over here. All these guys parked here, probably hunting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's what's Wednesday today? <laughs> You're not supposed to hunt on Wednesday. It's Thursday. You guys want to come up here? It's shooting on us. Oi! It's Wednesday. It's right here. Yeah. They're not allowed to do that. No, it's Thursday and Sunday, isn't it? Unless it's a public holiday. We left the hunters or the Portuguese caçadores to do their thing and a few days later I popped into the dirty bikers hub down amongst the green pines of Quinta del Lago. It's really lush but it's a patch of dirt right now under the trees but Russ is going to convert it rapidly into a great location to hang out and ride out. Okay so let me just explain quickly so that container is going okay and there's going to be like a 40 foot container all the way across here in front so we can store the bikes and everything and there will be a track going all the way looping around behind us over here um, coming right around here over there and that, that'll be some toilet ablutions over there so you'll be able to shower you'll be able to go to the loo whatever um, and then this track continues all the way through the trees over here with bumps and fun stuff to do so you can get to grips with the bike before you go out on a tour or you can even just stay here and just enjoy the track and then over there in the corner there'll be like a chill out zone with deck chairs and whatever and you can have drinks and stuff and relax and and hopefully have pizza one day so it's exciting news um when's this going to be ready well we started now uh we've cleaned out all the trees over the last few days uh container will be arriving within hopefully the next week mm -hmm. uh the bikes are already here they're in storage at the moment so as soon as uh we have the container secure and alarm. The bikes will be coming here. So June 2022. Before then, we want to be ready by Easter. Good man. <laughs> well, I want to wish Russ really good luck and all the best for the future because it's a fantastic project. And I hope that you'll go and support Russ. And uh, I want you to have a fantastic week. And I'll see you next time. It's like over and out for me for a week. All right. Algarve Addicts.com